to get straight A's when doing minimal studying. For those who can't concentrate, like me. This video is sponsored by Grammarly. I hate studying. I hate studying. If only there was a way to not hate studying. Well, what if there was a way? There's not. You just have to do it. Sorry, I fooled you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and my non binary people, to my channel. So, this is my second video to the series. If you haven't watched the first one, how I always get straight A's without doing much studying, go watch it. This one is for people who can't concentrate because I literally cannot concentrate. Ever. Before we continue this video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor Grammarly. So if you don't know what Grammarly is, Grammarly is a digital writing system which essentially just helps you write better in whatever area you're wanting. Is it academic? Is it literature? You're writing a book? Whatever it is, Grammarly can help you write better. So as you know, Grammarly has a free version and they have a premium version. The premium version saves you so much time. That is only to name a few. I'm gonna put everything else up on the screen. Grammarly has a browser extension, which is incredibly easy to download. You just go to the Google Chrome store, search up Grammarly and click the button and it's right there to help you whenever you need. The main reason why I love Grammarly is I'm a uni student and it helps me save time. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of how it helped me recently. So this is my uni assignment. It's on Google Docs and the extension helps me edit everything through. So the first thing it provides is vocabulary suggestions. So if I'm using a very boring word, I click it, Grammarly will provide me with another alternative word. So Grammarly also helps you save time proofreading, which as a uni student takes me so long at the end. So Grammarly Premium's clarity suggestions essentially help you edit out words that you don't actually need, therefore making everything sound better and more concise. And you save time trying to find citations with Grammarly Premium's plagiarism detector. It helps double check your work against 16 million entries on the internet. And trust me, that is very, very helpful because you do not want to get caught. So if you guys want to try Grammarly Premium, go to the link right here slash Simone Squared for 20% off Grammarly Premium. Welcome to my study. The very first tip is clean room equal clean mind. Do I look like a hot librarian? Whatever. Okay. By the way, if the car's allowed, I apologize. You're right by the window. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Filthy! This is my study. Filthy! Everything clutter, clutter everywhere. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Let's get rid of it. Okay, that's better. Honestly, I just move everything to the ground. See? It's on the ground. The important thing is that your table is clean because when your table is clean, you can concentrate a little bit better because you're not distracted by all of these objects in front of you. Say it with me! Clean room! Equals clean, clean mind. mind. Or rather, clean table, clean mind, empty mind. Empty mind ready to be filled with information from studying. Alrighty. Now, if you guys have not watched my first video, in the first video we talked about the flame meditation, and this is really good to just begin studying. If you cannot concentrate, you do a flame meditation to begin with. Now, I don't actually have like an actual candle here, otherwise I would use a real life candle, but. So I literally just do it for five minutes and I'm good to go. Cause honestly, you only need five minutes to begin studying. I just typed in flame meditation, you all see that? There we go. Let's stare at it together. Okay, now you've done your flame meditation, put this on. ADHD concentration music. I don't care if you have ADHD or not. I got my paper done last week in two hours because of this. And trust me, it is so, so hard for me to focus for more than like 20 minutes at a time. When I put this on, I locked myself in and I got it done. 
So today I have to make notes and I also need to read my research papers. And I have two hacks which is gonna change your life because it's changed my life. If you're like me, you're addicted to your phone and you always have to have it in your hand. When I'm watching a lecture, I always have my phone in my hand and it's not good. So, you know what I started to do? Wait for it. <laughs> I started to write my notes on my phone. Yes, I'm wearing different colored socks. I couldn't find my other one. I started to write my notes on my phone. So what I do is I watch my lecture and then I, I type so freaking fast on here, whatever I'm doing, da -da 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 -da, as it goes on. That way, you know, my phone's on airplane mode. I'm not getting notifications and I'm typing my notes. I don't have any urge to check on anything else because I've already satisfied the need of having my phone in my hand. Oh, that's so sad. The addiction to technology. Additionally, when I don't want to read my research articles alone, because it's really confusing, someone actually gave me this tip and it's been life-changing, but you see this here? Speechify for Chrome. And you click on it and it will play whatever's on the page. Add slash ADHD intense see? relief, extended, ADHD focus music, ADHD music therapy. So that way when you're revising, not only do you have someone to read your notes with you, which will help go in more, but when you're reading complicated articles, complicated web pages, this will help it like sink in a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna study now. I've got my glasses on. I'm gonna do it on my bed today. You know what? I would actually advise people to not study on their beds. Studying on your bed is actually really bad if you spend a lot of time in your bed because you're going to associate sleeping with studying. So when you start to study on your bed, you're going to fall asleep. So if you do want to study on your bed because you don't have a lot of space, do it in a different position. For example, I'm currently, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not studying up here. I'm studying here against the wall and that way I don't fall asleep. If I want to nap during the day, I don't sleep with my head against the headboard, I sleep the opposite way. Because it creates like a different association. Like, oh, this is my nap, that's my nighttime sleep, this is my studying, so, yeah. See, and just like that, you pretty much read an entire article and if you want to go through it again you just play it and you keep on going 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 it's like watching a video almost because reading oh my god i'll read like one sentence and be like wait i zoned out but if you're listening to it you can pause go back you can also just listen to it all over again until it goes into your brain and that is the greatest tip ever I have study breaks usually for no more than 15 minutes and I don't go on my phone. Because I feel like once you go on your phone, you get that hit of dopamine and then you, you can't concentrate anymore. Well, it's very hard to resume the concentration you previously had. So for those of you who cannot concentrate and the main reason you can't concentrate or you procrastinate is because you keep looking at the time, change the time to something completely random. For example, I literally would change the time to like 3 a.m. when it's 8 a.m. And that way I don't know what the actual time is because do you ever look at the time and you're like, oh, it's 10 a.m. Well, I have all day to study and then you're like, okay, I'll give it another hour and then another hour and another hour and you're like, okay, well, I'm going to go to bed at 12 a.m. and it's 8 o'clock right now, so I still have four hours to go and you keep delaying it. So if you change the time to something random, you have to do it now. Okay, my next tip is really good for my lazy studiers. Study at night or Study at night and revise before you go to sleep because it helps consolidate the information. So, I'm going to read you a study. <clears throat> a cardiobiology study from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston used face recall as a test of memory. Half of participants reviewed photos before sleep for eight hours while the other half reviewed them in the morning. Both groups studied the same amount of time, but guess what group record faces better the next day? What was it? It was the group that studied before they went to bed. They performed better. So, what does that say? Study at night. 
For me, I'm really bad at studying during the day. I either study, I either, I either, I either study when I wake up in the morning because because that's when you have the highest concentration, or I study before I go to bed. When I'm preparing for an exam, I review everything before I sleep, just so it consolidates. And sleeping does the most work for you. My next tip is for those who have really complex information to learn or you just have a lot of information to learn and you struggle to remember it. What I do is I tell a story with my information. For example, when I was doing a psychobiology course, I really struggled to remember all the different parts of the brain. So what I would do is, I'm going to read you the sentence. The hippocampus is a complex brain structure embedded deep into the temporal lobe. It has a major role in learning and memory. If you're learning so many different parts of the brain, it's really easy to get it confused. So this is what I would do. I would break down the sentence and make a new sentence. I would tell a story with it. So hippocampus. To me, hippocampus, it reminds me of a hippopotamus. So it's a complex brain structure embedded in the temporal lobe. In the temporal lobe, so I would say, okay, a keyword there, temporal, sounds like temporary. It has a major role in learning and memory. So how can I use hippo, temporary, and link it to learning and memory? What I came up with was the hippocampus goes to school temporarily to learn. And sometimes on the way, it forgets its pathway. Okay, you can probably come up with a better sentence, but that's like just what my brain remembers. I remember this from literally three years ago. I made this sentence up three years ago, and that's how embedded it is in my mind now. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to watch part one if you haven't already watched it, and if you want to try Grammarly Premium out, click the link below. Don't forget to check out my second channel, Simone Says, for everything spirituality advice, motivation, law of attraction, psychology, whatever, etc. And give this video a like because it really helps push it out. And I read all the comments. Leave a comment below. Follow my Instagram. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Thank you. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi otra madrina dijo que sí Este de aquí me hizo llorar Este otro me dice marica Este otro de mí piensa mal Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra Nadie va a comer y de hambre morir